Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of MIDI Guitar Hacks. Today, I'll show you how to play notes right into the computer, just like these notes you see here, only with your classical guitar or your acoustic guitar and no MIDI guitar or whatever involved. So let's dig right in. So here's what you're going to need. A guitar, an acoustic guitar, classical or steel string, but preferably uh, classical. Secondly, a laptop with an inbuilt microphone or a computer with any kind of microphone, because otherwise our hack won't work. And thirdly, two pieces of free software you can download. The first one being a note editor by Steinberg called Dorico SE. I'll put a link in the description below for both pieces of software. So you got to download all these three things here, the activation manager, the library manager, and the media bay, but it's all for free. And the second piece of software is called MIDI Guitar 2. You'll get a free trial version for Mac OS, for Windows. iOS is not of interest for us because we'll work in the uh, computer domain. Make sure to download these two softwares and install them. And in the next step, I'll show you how to go about it. So once you've downloaded and installed MIDI Guitar 2, we'll have a look at it. It will look something like this. And in this section here, you can use a preset or choose a preset. And I would go for Rhodes, which I have installed already here. And in this section, Instrument, I would go for No Instrument because we don't want any sound to come out. We just want to trigger notes through the microphone. And in order for the microphone to function, you have to set the input and output to system audio. It doesn't work for me because I've got an interface, but that would be your choice. On channel, you would go for internal microphone, which I haven't got here because I use an interface, as I told you. And then you check with your guitar close to the mic. If any sound gets inside, and if that would be the case, you'll see the notes here. And you can adjust the gain with this knob. Only one more setting to go, the noise gate, because we only want the uh, notes with the highest velocity to, tr to be triggered. We pull this far right in order to only let the loudest notes get through. And in the next step, we'll look at Dorico and how we get to put notes inside. Once you've downloaded and installed the Dorico version, you can open it up and you'll see something like this. But the start screen will be similar. And what we want to do is hit Create New, the middle one, and go to Guitar with Tablature. We don't worry about the rest, but what we can do is type in Allegro as a title, and then we go to Guitar with Tablature and create the project. Your start screen should look like mine now, with the Allegro title on top, with the notes and the tabs. Before we start inputting anything, i um, just remind you that you have to have MIDI Guitar 2 running in the background, because otherwise there won't be any note input. So we start here and then we choose 16th note and begin a process of playing notes into the computer. And if there are mistakes, you have to look. Are they uh, grave mistakes? Then you click inside and hit backspace. And if they are OK, we'll edit them later. I'll just play four bars and we see what happens. And that's what we've got. And that's not too bad, actually, uh, if you r remind yourself that it's just a microphone.
And what you can do now to edit this stuff, you just click on the nodes you don't want to have and press backspace. That's the first one we're going to want to get rid of. Here's the second one, third one, here the bottom one, here the top one. That's not too bad altogether. Here's another one. So you see, that's not too bad actually. And if you want to continue, you just press, uh, click this bar and put this sign on again and move further. But what I want to show you is that you can edit this thing further because in guitar notation, you want to have uh, two voices. So I'll click on this one and make a right click. And here you see voices. I take change voice, new downstem voice, and there you are. That's the bass note and you want it to be a half note. So I press seven and it's a half note. This looks much more like it. And you see all the notes were input with the guitar. Like this, you can play anything into your computer without spending a cent, a rupee, a dime or whatever you call it. So I hope uh, you get along quite well with this way of putting in notes. And you'll see my completely edited version at the end in the outro of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this episode. This is, by the way, the final Allegro version. I hope yours looks similar. And I hope you've become a wizard at using your guitar as a note typewriter. If you liked it, hit the like button, leave a subscription or even a comment and let me know what other subjects you'd like me to cover on this channel. And I hope to see you next time.